I would like to show you a small demonstration of how to work with the light in a much more efficient way. Because uh, normally the people have the common tradition uh, way to use the mouse for everything. And it's a very slow way to work and, and not so productive and handy. It's not the, the optimal way. For example, they open the applications with this, they move the window, um, moving the mouse and selecting the border and clicking on it to move it. While you can just press Alt and just move the window in any place. You click in anywhere of the window and you can move it by pressing Alt button instead of uh, trying to catch the border with your mouse uh, losing your time uh, trying to reach it. <clears throat> Another handy feature is um, with the second button of the mouse also with Alt, you can resize it from any point. So you can move and resize and position and resize and move in a much, much, much more efficient way than trying to catch the corners of the window. And fi finally, with the right button of the mouse, you have the options of the window. You can take a screenshot, you can close, you can rise, sticky, close, uh, remember position for the next time that is open, uh, all the options. This is not so used, but you have it in the right click. <coughs> Another common um, way of work of the users is, the, is to minimize the windows. And this is really, really bad. It comes from the Windows in operating system which uh, implemented this uh, tradition to the users. The users normally um, minimize the windows like this and they have uh, the windows minimized uh, in a list. Uh, not easy to know what is everyone. Uh, you don't know where they come back, which one is. Um, you need to move always the mouse to the minimized zone to recover the window and um, the position are not warranted and let's say that you want to have uh, three windows like this very well positioned you see I can open my applications with only the keyboard it's not needed the mouse like this if you minimize the windows with a hotkey also <clears throat> and you then put another different window and you try to work on this way this painful way minimize then recover the another one minimize and recover the another one is slow and painful so this that's a much better way of work is to use the virtual desktops simply use the virtual desktops so you can go to another virtual desktops and you put your windows as you wish. Let's say that we want two windows on this place. And we work on something with these two windows and then you will need to work back to the previous um, applications. So you, you simply have them here and this one's here. You don't need to use the minimizer. Just use your desktop as you, you have organized it as the way you wish. That's all. You don't need anything more than that. Another desktop for the full window. And that's all. And you can use a Shift Alt to move around the <coughs> your virtual desktops. To work differently in things like this you have anything that you want in that way let's show you uh, more hotcakes because they are very very handy for example 
If you want a terminal, you can do Control Alt T terminal. If you want to close it, Control Alt X. If you want to raise it, you use R. But I I never found this feature useful for anything. But it's okay. To minimize that, I don't like this idea. Just use I. Uh, what more? Uh, sticky. That uh, this is a very good feature. Let's say that you need uh, <coughs> a window like this. Open it all the time because you have information, important information that you need to share between desktops. But when you go to another desktop to do another thing, you don't have the another terminal, so or, or application. So just to press Control Alt S and you have it sticky in all around the desktops so you can move anywhere that you still have this window <coughs> in the right click plus alt options you can set the stacking mode of the window to be always on top or always in below and that way you will have always the window on top so you can work on other windows we will try it. Stacking always on top. So you can press other windows and work in other windows and you will still have always the the raised one in front of you. So you can read the text more easily. Or in below. What more? Um, Well, you can have uh, the window key to do different things like uh, control the volume of the audio. When you are working with music and somebody calls to phone or you need to do something, you need to fastly uh, decrease the volume of the, your, your computer. So just use the windows key and plus, minus and plus. I don't know. You can configure in, in Enlightenment in your life uh, all the hotkeys that you want to do anything that you want. To switch the focus around Windows, to launch applications like Calculator, or I don't know. I have not configured it. You can put applications to launch automatically at the start. And well, um, as I said, you have a lot of uh, ways to configure your desktop and customize everything. It's up to you. You have really all the power. And you can even make your own modules, plugins for Enlightenment to change the behavior to anything as you wish. Thanks for watching.